Let's all go to the lobby. Yeah, what's up YouTube? This is Jose with Cinema of the Dead. Just wanted to do this uh, update on my horror room. Want to do a horror room tour. A uh, couple, couple of people in the comments have been asking me to do one. You know, sorry I've been taking my time to do this. I just wanted to wait till I had a couple of things up on the walls and had everything set up for you guys. Alright, so let's start. So when you walk in, this is the entrance. It's the restroom right here. Got that on uh, Amazon. Got these uh, stanchion poles. I got them on Amazon, I believe. And the real uh, th movie theater marquee. Found that on OfferUp. It's the entrance right there. The cinema room. Quick little wrap around look. All right, guys. So I got this uh, life-size NECA of the Gremlins. Just added the 3D glasses to him. And that fake popcorn. And I bought that little uh, nameplate online. Let's wrap around this way. Got my life size Pennywise. Got that animatronic last year from Party City. Just got a new uh, costume for it. And also the, the mask is actually, I replaced it with the Tots. Uh, 2019 Pennywise mask and I had it rehauled by Evan Para on Etsy. I think it looks great guys. Little Billy animatronic from Party City as well. Uh, it's out of batteries guys. I always forget to replace the batteries before I do this video. But it just moves its head side to side and it laughs. as that weird little laugh. It's a little up close pictures of Pennywise. Also the little balloon from Amazon. <laughs> Cinema now playing horror movies. I ended up cutting that and putting it in the shadow box. I thought it looked a little bit better. I don't know, I hope I didn't ruin it. <laughs> All right, guys, over here, I got the life-size Annabelle doll by Tammy Reese on Facebook. I found her on Facebook. I believe she also has a site called Fatal Images. She does such a great job on these dolls, guys. Got a life-size uh, leprechaun. Uh, the mask is by M Monster Man 1985 on Instagram. That's where I found him. Made the body out of PVC piping and stuffed it. And I got the hands on Amazon. I believe they were like werewolf hands, and I painted them. Ended up adding a voice box to him as well, guys. Let's see if I could find a little, little button to push it.
Yeah, guys, so right here I got the little display of uh, the Crypt Keeper from Tales from the Crypt. And that is by uh, Creation X. Up here I got the Exorcist bus by Patrick Hart. Found them on eBay. And the bus, I ended up getting it rehauled by Evan Para as well on uh, Etsy. I think she looks badass, guys. So creepy. And the power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. On top of the cabinets right here, I made a little display with a uh, Freddy and Leatherface. That's the uh, Pretty Woman mask by uh, Tots. Ended up using a real chainsaw that I found at a yard sale. That looks almost identical to the real one they used like, on the movie. The Freddy Krueger is on, I found him on Amazon. All right, guys, this right here is my Jeepers Creepers wall hanger. This is like the newest addition to Cinema of the Dead. Zarloza Creations. Found them on Etsy. This thing looks badass, guys. It's with the Be Eating You license plate. The Good Guy Doll by uh, Trick or Treat Studios. Hi, I'm Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. Heidi ho <laughs> Got a movie theater marquee. Ended up uh, putting movie uh, Myler posters on there instead of one big poster. And I have uh, Jeepers Creepers, The Conjuring, the remake of Halloween, remake of Dawn of the Dead, The Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, and Scream. Some of my favorites. Uh, except for the Nightmare on Elm Street, that's the remake one, but I couldn't find none of the original ones, so I just ended up using this one, because I mean, the poster looks pretty good. Uh, the movie, I'm not really fond of the remake of the movie, but just wanted it to represent Nightmare on Elm Street. All right, guys, over here, I got my life-size Freddy. The mask was uh, sculpted by uh, Scareware and finished by Shallow Grave. Uh, for Freddy, I ended up finding a mannequin that has a certain stance that I like. That reminds me of the way Freddy stands, kind of with his hip to the side. I thought that made a big difference with the way he looks on the mannequin. That is one of my favorite pieces in my collection, guys. I love Freddy. Uh, if you guys don't know, he's my favorite horror icon. All right, guys, on this corner over here, I got my little movie corner, movie ticket. Got my part six, Michael Myers. Part 8, Jason. Jason takes Manhattan. Got my demons mask from the movies Demons. It's Pinhead by Patrick Hart. We have such sights to show you. This resin, uh, Hellraiser box also by Patrick Hart. Got a little life-size, uh, Sam from Trick or Treat.
It's a little Michael Myers down there from uh, Spirit Halloween. It's a cute little bastard. <laughs> Right here on my coffee table, guys, I have this uh, Ruby's Jason Groundbreaker. Groundbreaker. With this uh, Camp Crystal Lake sign that I found on Etsy. I just weathered it myself and added blood to it. Right here on my coffee table, I have this Necronomicon book. It's just a skin. I covered one of my uh, storage books on here. I want it on my coffee table just to have my, uh, to, uh, you know, conceal my remote controls. So that's where I keep my remote controls. Just so it won't look all cluttery on the table. So I thought that was pretty badass, guys. And I found the skin on uh, eBay. So this looks pretty cool. Yeah, guys, and the reason that the reason that I have so many remotes is, uh, you know, I have all these different uh, ways to watch my movies in, and the most, the one I love is my big screen. As you can see up there, I have a 150-inch screen. Let's see if I could uh, bring the screen down so you guys can see how I watch movies in here. Which is the reason why I call my channel, you know, Cinema of the Dead. And the, the way I watch the, the movies are in my uh, projector. It's up here. It's on top of the uh, movie marquee right here, guys. You know what? Everybody always asks me, why don't I pull the screen down and show it? So I just wanted to show you guys like the reason I call this uh, Cinema of the Dead. <laughs> so there you go, guys. That's my, uh, my screen. So you guys can see how big it is. Man, you guys, if you guys haven't got a screen and projector in your house, you got to get one, man. And you know what? I used to think they would be a little too expensive for me to afford it. If you look into it, man, it's like the cost of a TV nowadays, man. So I recommend it, especially if you guys have like a media room. You guys will never watch uh, movies on a TV again, man. If you experience it like this with a surround sound. Love this thing, guys. Got that uh, walking, talking uh, Chucky from uh, Spirit Halloween last year. It's called the bump and go Chucky when it hits something it ends up turning the op opposite direction. Let's see if I can turn them on for you guys. Yeah, guys, so there you go. That's the uh, Bump and Go Chucky by Spirit Halloween. Ended up making this uh, bright and black from in part one of Insidious. I found this vintage black wedding dress on OfferUp. Ended up using a cathedral uh, wedding veil. It's uh, the floor. Love the way she came out, man. She looks so creepy.
Oh yeah, I got my nun prop. And they don't making these little uh, movie milers with little miniature uh, movie marquees. I mean, uh, milers on there. I got uh, Saw, Jeeper Cre Jeepers Creepers Part 2, Annabelle, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, House of a Thousand Corpses, Halloween Part 2, Evil Dead, and Drag Me to Hell. Another bus that I love right here, guys, is from uh, Scary Stories to Town in the Dark. This is the book version of The Ghost Girl. She's from a story called The Haunted House in the Scary Stories to Town in the Dark book series. It's crazy in the movie, they ended up using her for uh, Where's My Toe, which is wrong. She's from The Haunted House. She's from the story called The Haunted House, so I'm not sure how they made that mistake in the movie. But this is a pretty badass bus right here, guys. It comes with uh, LEDs inside of, the la inside of the eyes. So fucking cool, guys. This right here is one of uh, th a thrift store find. It's a baby alien, alien embryo in a jar. Go so guys, is a feature presentation sign. T-Rex. It's the Night of the Demon Standee by Knee High Horror. It's a little gremlin with some 3D glasses I added to him. It's a little uh, scream shadow box I made. I put a scream mask in there with the scream deca uh, sticker decals. Also right here with my scream mask that I found at a thrift store. What's your favorite scary movie? Pretty cool looking mask right there. Also have a little uh, Art the Clown magnets. And a Freddy Krueger one. These are like really chunky, really cool. You know what well, guys, just in case the video's coming on too, too dark, let me turn on the light right here. Just to give another quick little uh, view of the horror room. All right, guys, also uh, my Haunted Mansion and parts of the Caribbean room is on the other side of this hallway right here. So when you walk out of the cinema room, this is when you're exiting. Exiting the cinema room, keep going down the hall. It's my little night. This is when you enter my uh, Haunted Mansion and parts of the Caribbean Welcome. room. Welcome foolish mortals to the haunted mansion i am your host your ghost host <laughs> kindly step all the way in please and make room for everyone there's no turning back now our tour begins here in this gallery where you see paintings of some of our guests as they appeared in their corruptible mortal state. 
Your cadaverous pallor betrays an aura of foreboding, almost as though you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. Is this haunted room actually stretching? Or is it your imagination? Hmm? And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> Alright guys, well that's about it. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Hit that like button, show that love. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.